Hey everyone. So if you have watched this channel before, you probably know I talk all about project management. Today, I am going to talk about Smartsheet and how you can use some of their templates to really help you. It's not always the big things that are the challenges when we're talking about project management. Maybe we do a really good job of understanding the scope, the time, and the cost, but it's that day-to-day -day stuff, the meetings, dealing with people, tracking some of those action items that can be hard for us. So I am going to show you how you can go ahead and use Smartsheet to keep you organized on the little things. I'm Candace Porter, and I'm glad that you are here. If you are not following this channel, please click the little bell and subscribe. We've got a lot of great videos that will be coming out in the near future. I am going to share my screen now, and we are going to take a look at Smartsheet. So here we are. This is my kind of landing page within Smartsheet. So if you have a Smartsheet account already, then whenever you log in, this is usually what you see. If you use a lot of different forms, if you're tracking action items, it's going to have your top 10 suggested for you. So that's a really nice feature whenever it's showing up there. Now, let's take a look at where we can find templates if you're not familiar with this. If you look here on my screen, you're going to see this little grid here, and it's called Launcher within Smartsheet. I'm going to go ahead and click on Launcher, and you will see that it gives me several options, Solution Center, Center of Excellence, and Work Apps. I'm going to click on this Solution Center here. So here I am in the Solution Center. You're going to see that I can explore all types of template sets or even more simple templates. A template set usually bundles up more than one template. So there may be multiple things that build upon it. If you've watched my Introduction to Smartsheet video, you'll know that when I covered creating a project schedule in Smartsheet, that they had a location where you actually used a sheet for the project, for managing the timelines. But then they had additional sheets packaged up as a template set for reports. So maybe for tracking and managing risk and then maybe a dashboard. So that's what we're talking about with template sets. It's going to be multiple things bundled into one. We can be really simple with just some of the templates, however. I mentioned meetings earlier and how challenging meetings can be. So let's just go ahead and do a keyword search here for agenda. If I search agenda, you're gonna see here, they've got several options. So formal design review agenda, meeting agenda, um, all types of things here that I can select from. I want to focus on a meeting agenda. Let's say we're going to hold a project team meeting. So I'm gonna click on this. You're going to see it gives me a description and this is pretty similar on any template that you will select. You can read it, see if it meets your needs and then you can click use if you decide that you do wanna work with it. It is going to automatically pop up and have a default to save in your sheets. And so that's a great place. I'm just going to go ahead and click save there. If you wanted to save it into a specific folder or a different location, you can browse and that's going to give you the options for your different workspaces. So let's go ahead and click save here. And then it's going to open it up for us so that we could take a look at it. So you'll see this is all just default information. It's mock data so that it shows you how to fill it out pretty much. So where the different bits of information go. It automatically opens up conversations here on the side. So if you are working with a team and you are all using Smartsheet, you can always tag people on the comments here, ask them a question and they should receive a notification. So that's what that conversations piece is over here. I'm gonna close that out, but if you wanted to go back to it and open it up, you could again, click on conversations here. 
Now let's get into a little bit about the meeting details. For the meeting details, we have the name of the meeting, we have the purpose of the meeting, we've got the date, goals. I'd be as specific as possible on the goals. You know, what do you want to accomplish in this meeting? If there is a specific decision that needs to be made, I would go ahead and enter it there as well. And then, you know, where's the location? I wish I was going to be meeting in the Hawaiian Convention Center. <laughs> that sounds wonderful right now. Then you start to see down below, you've got your meeting agenda items. Just like you can use the parent-child task in the project, you can actually have sub-agenda items in here as well, where you could roll them all up under the agenda item. So maybe if you have two or three bullets that you want to cover under one particular agenda item, you could go ahead and add them as sub-agenda items. You could add the description and an owner. This is a priority. It defaults to a priority column with high, medium, and low. We've got the start and end time. Now, as a project manager, you've got to be good at managing meetings and you want to follow the agenda. We don't want to have six or seven important agenda items and only get through the top two. So this is important. Start and end time and make sure that you honor it. That's a key thing here. It's got some spots down below where you can add actions for follow-up, best practice. We come up with a really specific action, a due date, and an owner. So we're really clear on who is doing what out of the meeting. You can also track attendees here. And that way you know who was in the room when maybe decisions were made, when action items um, came about. Just a few other things. You can always add attachments to each of these agenda items. So if you want to add an attachment, maybe this sub agenda item, I can click on this little paper clip here. And if I click on that, it's going to give me the option to attach a file and that file will be associated with the row number. So feel free to explore that especially if you're sharing this sheet with other people from the project team, that could be really helpful because then people could get in there. If there's documents that are associated with the discussion, they could review them in advance. So please feel free to go ahead and explore that. With that, I also want to show you if you get this set up, and you really like the meeting template, it's gonna be you know, a standing meeting, same people, maybe even you have some of the same agenda items each week. You can also save the meeting agenda as a template. So if you go up here to file and save as template, then you can always recreate this each week or maybe every other week or every month if it's a monthly meeting. So I definitely encourage you to explore that. That way you're not having to do it from scratch every single week. With that, I really want to thank you for joining me today to talk about smart sheet templates. We also talked about the importance of managing meetings as a project manager. Don't forget to set that agenda, share it in advance, honor the times on the agenda so you get through all your important items, Make sure you're tracking those action items. And if you can share this in advance with any attachments or any information that people need to review, it's a really easy way to do it. Also, it could save you time saving it as a template. So feel free to explore that. Thank you again for being here with me. I'm Candace Porter, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.